A receipt is printed after the train ticket is issued. Hi, my name is Andreas Hense and I make videos on business process automation. Welcome to this series of videos about modeling in business process model and notation or BPMN for short. Here we will not go through all of the constructs of BPMN one by one. There is already a lot of material out there including excellent video tutorials. Instead we will look at the workflow patterns a scientific collection of phenomena that appear in workflow management systems. The Workflow Patterns Initiative started around the turn of the century and has had some influence on the development of BPMN itself. The Workflow Patterns Initiative was also the foundation of the workflow management system YAL, the original topic of this channel. We will concentrate on the control flow patterns and take each of these patterns as a challenge to be modeled with BPMN. So let's get started with one of the most basic patterns. Today we look at the sequence. A task in a process is enabled after the completion of a preceding task in the same process. You can see the behavior in the original flash animation. So here we see the sequence flash animation and you can see that each task starts after the preceding task has been completed. Very easy to model this in BPMN with a sequence flow. An arc that connects two tasks as shown in this token simulation. Here we can see that first issue train ticket is finished and then after that print receipt is finished. Note that we need a start event for our token simulation to work. Without changing the behavior of the BPMN model we can insert an intermediate event between the two tasks. Here we have issue train ticket and then we have an intermediate event ticket issued there and this is before print receipt is started. Thank you for watching.